Milk production, that is, lactation, is a major component of reproduction in mammals. In contrast to all other animals, mammals including primitive mammals, such as the duckbill platypus and the spiny anteater nourish their offspring with a liquid that is secreted by specialized glands. Milk production and secretion are complex, multi-stage processes that are controlled by several hormones, the most important of which are prolactin and oxytocin. There are few studies on research training programs within the realm of Asian American health disparities. The existing literature on training programs tends to emphasize broad components such as mentorship and an examination of the community and academic partnership. Moreover, the current available literature pertains mostly to clinical practitioners such as nurses and doctors in residency rather than researchers. Few articles employed quantitative evaluation methods, because most of these evaluations were limited to a low number of participants. 200 kilometers northeast of Venezuela lies an island nation renowned for its spices in Grenada. It's made up of several islands of the Grenadine group a small archipelago in the Lesser Antilles. Grenada is the largest island of the southern Grenadines. The northern part of the island chain belongs to the island nation St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The interior of the Grenada is covered in mountains which are the source of the island's numerous rivers. The many inactive creators point to the island's volcanic origins. Like many other islands in the Lesser, Antilles Grenada was originally settled by the Arawak and indigenous people from Venezuela. Men have always tried to encode secrets. Military communication, love letters, and forbidden knowledge. Sooner or later most secret texts had been decoded. But among all the history as cryptic writings one has stood out. This text has defied all attempts to unveil its secret for centuries though Voynich manuscript. It s the world's most mysterious book written by an unknown author in an absolutely singular alphabet and illustrated with puzzling images. Korea Ku is one of the most untouched islands in the Caribbean. Tourism and high society are hard to be seen here. Korea Ku is part of the two island state known as Korea Ku and Fatty Martinique. The name Korea Ku comes from the language of the Caribs and means the island of reefs. The island is first mentioned in 1656 in the book. It came under English control in 1763. The ruins of sugar cane mills are a reminder of the old plantation and slavery. The island is ringed by postcard perfect beaches. It's not for nothing that one of the major seaside areas is called Paradise Beach. The Meals on Wheels is getting popularity all over the world. They are quick to serve, quality food on a budget. They got Big Network which is receiving its funds from a combination of local and state funding, donations and various other resources. Most of the earning for these come from Older American Act Nutrition Program. The government is bringing new resolution by White House to cut of about 16% to the Department of Health and Human Services. This will defiantly affect small meals on wheels business. Still extra cut in this business is unknown. Some funding is done by state and decision on their portion of funding totally depend on the state to continue this program. The German automaker giant Mercedes-Benz has voluntarily recalled 3 million brand diesel engine in different parts of the world to improve their emissions. On last Tuesday, the board debate over the future of diesel vehicle. The big giant rival Volkswagen admitted that they equip the vehicle with illegal software that meant they pass a mission test which is regulated by the government. The emission increases with every day driving. In some part of the world or cities and diesel vehicle because of concerns about the increasing level of nitrogen oxide smoke emitted by diesel vehicles.
The task of clearing Section 1 was made possible with North Rail's close coordination with other government agencies such as National Authority, Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council, Presidential Commission for the Urban Poor, Commission on Human Rights, Department of Budget and Management, Office of the Government Corporate Council, Department of Justice, Bases Conversion and Development Authority, Development of Transportation and Communications, Housing and Land Use Regulatory Board, Bureau of Internal Revenue, Commission on Audit, Department of Finance and National Economic and Development Authority, NIDA. Hindu Sena National President Vishnu Gupta stated, This is a writ petition in the shape of public interest litigation under Article 226 of the Constitution of India praying for issuance of an appropriate writ in the nature of direction to the respondents for removal of objectionable scenes depicting religious leaders, characters, figures in bad taste and issues a writ of mandamus to the respondents directing them to not certify the feature film Adiporish for public exhibition and pass such other or further order as this humble court may deem fit and proper in the facts and circumstances of the case. Time is important and so is timekeeping. I have been trying my hands at a few smartwatches in the last few months. And, based on my stint, I feel watchmakers around the world are leaving no stone unturned to offer the best user experience. Garmin, a prominent smartwatch brand, is no different. In a world dominated by Apple, Samsung and an array of legacy watch brands going digital, this US-based watch company has carved a niche for itself. Tactical watches are designed and built to survive in extreme conditions. Modern-day tactical watches come loaded with features such as a compass. While the crude bomb called Pito is most commonly used, it has versions like the Lal Sada, named after the colors of chemicals used. Some have no shrapnel and are meant for area domination and sending a message with a loud bang and smoke. Then there are those filled with ball bearings, nails, even shards of glass, which make them lethal. In advanced versions, including Lal Sada, ball bearings, nails, shards of glass are added. The lethal mix is packed into metal boxes or wide-mouthed glass bottles. Then there's the bomb which works more like a hand grenade as it requires a pin to be removed before it is logged. A one-time cruise ship crooner, Berlusconi used his television networks and immense wealth to launch his long political career, inspiring both loyalty and loathing. To admirers, the three-time premier was a charismatic statesman who sought to elevate Italy on the world stage. To critics, he was a populist who threatened to undermine democracy, wielding political power as a tool to enrich himself and his businesses. His center-right Forza Italia political party was a junior partner in the government of current Premier Giorgia Maloney, a far-right leader who came to power last year, although he held no position. Apart from highlighting India's ongoing economic reforms, government thrust on infrastructure development and forex reserves nearing 600 billion United States dollars, government officials also questioned Moody's on its rating parameters. Officials from all economy-related ministries and Niti Ayog attended the meeting. India has long been questioning the methodology adopted by international agencies while according credit rating and has nudged them to become more transparent and less subjective. It has been pitching for amendment in sovereign credit ratings methodology saying it should reflect economy's ability and willingness to pay their debt obligations. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said he supports South Korea's efforts to develop a healthy and mature, cooperative relationship with China, South Korea's foreign ministry said on Saturday. Blinken, who arrives in Beijing on Sunday for the highest level visit by an official of President Joe Biden's administration, discussed bilateral relations between China and South Korea, and North Korea in a call with South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin on Saturday, the ministry said in a statement. U.S. officials say they do not expect Blinken's trip to China, the first by a Secretary of State in five years, to yield a breakthrough in how Washington and Beijing deal with each other.